boys. The boys are going over to compete at the fastest trail on the block in America. It's a USA brick laying. It's, a, it's the 2020 of brick laying. You know, it's over. It's in 20 minutes. It's fast. It's exciting. This is the youngest team we've sent. And we've been over before. Australia's been over and we've had patches. But this time we're going over to not only compete, and hopefully the boys will do well, and I'm sure they will, but it's also to cement a future for Australian brick and block layers to go over to America and compete in these sorts of competitions. So it's, a, it's an exciting time for the industry. And it is an honour, but they didn't get there by uh, fluke. You know, the boys have competed in world skills and other events, and, you know, they're, they're, they're both not only going to go over and represent them uh, uh, to America later, or in a week or two's time, but later this year they're off to Melbourne to represent Queensland at the uh, at the world skills to uh, to you know possibly go to Abu Dhabi next year and compete at an international. So they're, uh, they're they've certainly put in and done the hard yards. We're we're going over there um, under a new banner and a new trial, and we're going to learn a lot from our first trip over there. As for myself being a judge and meeting with the Americans to, to hopefully come back here and set up an exciting competition for Australians to have a tr opportunity to go over there next at 17. Uh, as, a, as a team and have a proper competition. It's exciting, it's 20 minutes. Um, the guys do exactly about a third or if not a half a day's work in 20 minutes, so they're going, they're really going. And so it's, it's exciting, you know, it's done and dusted within an hour, you know, a winner and, uh, and we move on. And I think that's, that's what bricklayers do. That's what we do every day. It's, it's a bit of an ego thing. It's put one on top of two, line level and plumb, who can put the most in in the day, gets the bragging rights in the afternoon. Yeah. Australian tradespeople for years have been re um, renowned as some of the world's best and it's important that we keep and that's what the ABBTF and the MCA are all about is making sure that we not only continue to have tradespeople coming through but we have the quality of a trade person coming through. You know Vegas is Disneyland for adults isn't it but this is serious stuff I mean fortunate enough both these boys are 20 years of age so in Nevada that means they're not legally allowed to drink so um, that, that takes one little uh, hurdle away from them but um, no, it is serious stuff and I mean if you jump online and have a look at the, you'll see how serious and you know the Americans don't do things by halves do they so you know to be given an opportunity to go and compete is a great honour and, and you know if they do well then they're mixing it with the best. It's a massive, it's in a stadium, it's got, uh, it's streamed live on TV over there, it's live online, um, it has a lot of viewing, it has a lot of interest so you know it, it is, it, it shows there's more to the industry than just putting one on top of two. It is an industry where you can travel the world and work. Well, it's the gr unique thing about bricklaying is you need your trail and your level, and you can put them in a bag and you can carry them anywhere. If you're not, you know, other trades, you need a lot more tools. With a bricky, as long as you've got that trail and you've got that level and you've got those skills, the skills are the commodity, and you can take it and travel anywhere. Have trail, will travel. Exactly, exactly.